Okay, here we go then. The last race of the day, it's all to play for. Race two, it all comes down to the next 14 laps. And away they go. Now, and there's Darren spinning out as well. Darren, there's contact there, push Kieran wide. Oh, but he's gone off, what's going on? Shane's also there, in the BMW. Oh, nearly loses it. Kieran's gonna have to slow down. No, he's gone too much. It's Josh here, and he is leading. This is fantastic for Josh. Oh, a bit of a love tap. And Josh, oh my god, who's going to take it? Oh, I think it's Darren. I think it's going to be Rob. Rob gets it. He's actually on the grass. This isn't good for Tom. And he's made the move. Look at that. Threw it over Rouge. Oh, that's Mike. Mike's gone off. Oh, great. Sideways, big time. Is it going to be enough? No, Sam takes it and takes the title ahead of Tom. Here's our grid for race two here at Laguna Seca Raceway. On the front row of grid is the Nissan GTR for Ellet Racing, Craig Kellett. Next to him is Tom Foster in the KTEC Racing Subaru WRX. Row two is Mark Nicholl in the Renault Megane and Gary Black in the Lexus RCF. On row three is Mike Kuipers in the Nissan GTR and Darren Parker for Team Parker Racing Renner McGann. Row four is the KTEC Racing Subaru WRX of Kieran Thomas. Josh Hardy in the Renner McGann and in the back row of the grid is the Subaru WRX of Stephen Heath. Here we go then, race two and Craig is on the front row of the grid after winning race one with Tom right next to him. Stephen has joined us at the back row of the grid to see if he can get some points after his retirement and away they go. And Tom gets a good start and is ahead of Craig to take the lead into turn one then with Mike just behind in third and Stephen Heath already in fourth position. Uh, a little bit of a push and barge around there at the back there. Kieran going off into the gravel. We're on board with Darren, who's just behind Stephen, who is just getting unsettled on those curves again. So, but it's a good start from the back row of the grid for the hot pink livery of Heafy. Further down, Josh is in sixth with Mark now having a battle with Gary. Uh, Gary nearly going off into the gravel as he uh, tries to avoid... Uh, Mark on board with Kieran there's Tom going off They're wide there so it must have hit those curbs or something's happened Kieran going running quite wide quite deep into that uh, corkscrew there nearly going off the circuit so on board with Tom as Darren and Craig have a bit of a tussle here. Darren looking quite strong and potentially to overtake Craig. And Craig has gone wide there somewhere. So there he is. He's not too far behind and has to take fifth just behind Tom as they go into the first corner onto the lap two. The first lap is done, so there's a little bit more... Uh, Sensible for everyone this time. No one's really gone off the track other than Tom who had a wide excursion off on his own. So Tom's just behind Darren here. Looking to get back up into the podium position. Uh, he was leading so this is uh, not great for Tom. But uh, early days in the race. Mike is currently leading ahead of Stephen Heath here again. Mike has already won a race at Nürburgring, so to get a second win will be a real intention for uh, a fight for the independence title. To snatch it away from Josh, who has really struggled to get his title fight defence underway. So, Heafy is now right on the back of Mike, so this is a real impressive for a debut. And Heafy goes 
slightly deeper into the corner. Battle now between Tom and Darren with Craig just behind. Craig's on the hard, so Tom has opted to stay on the softs. And at the moment, it's not quite worked out because he's uh, been off once already. So Tom looking to maintain and getting another strong result here to capitalise on the absence of some of the top runners including Sam and Rob and Harry and Tom has gone wide and he's gone off into the gravel again so that's allowed Cray to get past and Josh so Tom now down to sixth position and as I said before it's just goes to show if you hit those curbs then it can ruin a race so Tom now behind Josh and Craig and this battle looking very tasty here Tom on the inside of Craig slots in between Josh and Craig so Craig still doing well in fourth position on the hards further behind is Gary looking to maybe capitalise on one of those mistakes by the three there and behind Gary is Mark on the hards Kieran now still struggling with his injury and this is a fantastic battle between these three and they're almost three wide as they go into the next corner on board with Tom again Tom is on the inside of Craig here and this is a, a great battle but Craig has just got ahead then oh Tom has gone wide and into the gravel and I think let's push Josh off so something's happened there Tom's slowing down and this is again the last thing that Tom needs and he's slowing down I think he's going to wait for Josh to go past so this is allowing everyone else to go ahead uh, Gary now fighting with Craig again Gary looking still strong in that Lexus so we've got a replay of what happened between Josh Tom and Craig Let's have a little look now and uh, find out what happens between uh, those two, those three, sorry. On board with Tom then. Let's have a little look and see what happened. And he goes way too fast into the corkscrew over and you hear the contact between him and Josh. Uh, and actual fact, Gary, it's Tom behind, but that's because Tom come on the track a bit too keen after going off into the gravel. Let's have a little look from Craig's perspective then. As you can see, Josh is ahead, Tom is behind, and then you'll see Tom way too fast. Josh. Ah, so Josh goes into the gravel, um, and he's actually held by Craig to spin round. So Craig was involved in it too. That's interesting to see. We'll have a little look, and the stewards will take a look and see what they think so Josh now ahead of Tom as Tom let him pass but uh, the damage was done and uh, it actually looked like Craig was slightly involved as well so the stewards will look at it and uh, all three involved there somewhat now a battle here between the two KTEC Subarus of Kieran and Tom Tom whoa, running a little bit wider there's a bit of a cut there by Tom not great that's uh, yeah. the odds 
cut here and there isn't so bad, but consistent cutting of corners to gain positions is going to be looked at. Kieran ahead of Josh now. Whoa, Josh hits Kieran, but Kieran maintains position. Mark is in sixth on his own. Gary with Craig. And up the front here is a great battle with Darren, Mike and Stephen. So on board with Heafy. Darren's got past Stephen Heath in the Subaru. Darren now back onto the soft tyres. So looking to get maximum points. The laps have gone down to 15, unfortunately, because the organisers got it wrong and we went way over the 20 minute mark. And so they've shortened it to 15 laps instead of 17. This is a, a good three way battle here for the lead. So further down, Craig is still ahead of Gary. And now a fight between Tom and Mark. Nickel is on the cards. Bit of a tap there by Tom. But uh, Mark's gone off slightly. Goes up to sixth, Kieran up to seventh, and Mark now down to eighth. And that is Gary Black there who has lost it. So, again, another popular place to spin out. I wonder if Gary's hit those curbs. So, uh, let's have a little look and uh, find out what happened to Gary there to see if he spun out on his own. Let's have a look and see what happened with Gary here. So Gary is behind Craig and coming up to the next corner. I think Craig, uh, Gary has gone off well, quite badly and oh, hits the tyres and spins around. So Gary, a big accident there. Let's have a little look on board with Gary then to see what happens. And just that corner unsettled him on the curbs. And then once he's hit the tire wall, he just couldn't recover it. So Gary losing positions because of that. So here's Kieran and looking to overtake. Yeah, he does. And he's got position ahead. Oh, no, not quite. So Gary's on the outside. And the power of that Lexus has just got ahead of the Subaru. So Kieran couldn't quite finish the job there. Onto lap 8 of 15. Kieran looking to sneak up past Gary. He does a little bit of a tap there. And uh, Gary goes down to seventh Josh is here just ahead of Mark so another great battle here at the back all for the points doesn't have to be at the front so a fight for fifth sixth seventh and eighth and ninth nearly and there's Josh and Gary both spinning out there well that was a big one so I don't know if the two had contact but that's uh, a big off for uh, Gary and Josh let's have a little look at the replay and see what happened there let's have a look see what happened here with Gary and Josh so Gary again he's cut actually cut the corner gone onto the gravel rear wheel spinning spins around and I think Josh must have followed him on board with Josh now and let's watch 
as Gary goes across. Josh actually hits the curbs and gets unsettled, so that corner proving to be a hot spot for spins. So Mark gains the position up to seventh, ahead of uh, Gary and Josh. Kieran is now sixth, Tom still in fifth. And there's battle still going on between Mike and Darren. Oh, Darren's in the gravel, but it's spread out, so Stephen isn't uh, struggling too bad. Just behind there. And something is going on with Gary here. Gary is going backwards. And uh, that looks like a retirement for Gary. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think Gary really ever quite fully recovered there um, from, unfortunately, his accident with Josh. So a retirement for Gary. That's uh, pretty frustrating for him after a pretty decent result in race one. So that's a DNF for Gary. We'll see if he returns for race three um, to see if he can get the points that he's missed out from race two here. Darren takes the lead then, ahead of Mike. And Darren looking to get a big gap between these two and to take a win so that he can get the maximum points to keep up with Craig because it's a two horse race really at the moment between the top two. Early days still in the championship, but The two are really jumping way ahead of the rest of the field. This is still a positive result for Craig. If he does on the hards. And Tom trying to salvage what he's done. Whoa! Over those curbs. Very aggressively there, Tom. And uh, that's not going to help him to try and catch up with Craig, who is on the hards. So now Mark is still trying to catch up with Josh for that uh, final position. Mark is on the hards as well, so difficult to drive around here on the hards, everyone's been saying. So the battle lead between the top three, still with Darren in the lead, and Mike still in second with Stephen in third. Uh, Stephen will be feeling confident coming away if he continues and keeps his podium here. Um, Stephen was... Unfortunately, very, very frustrated after his race one DNF. After showing some real promising pace in the Subaru on his first ever race. On board with Heathy. The laps are counting down. So we'll be heading on to lap 12. And Stephen Heath running wide in the gravel, off the dirt there. But the top three here are well ahead of Craig in fourth, who is well ahead of Tom in fifth. So, really, the battle here is between the top three. So keep a check on that. We've got Mark here with Kieran. And Josh has managed to get ahead of Kieran. So Josh moving up slightly. After his big spin with Gary. Now can Kieran get past? Nothing so far. Now, 
Mike has managed to catch up quite uh, closely to Darren here so the fight is on for the lead of the race between Mike and Darren with Heafy just behind and if these two battle it out uh, then Stephen stands a good chance of trying to get past the two if they entangle with each other but Mike is putting the pressure on Darren here Mike is getting ever closer to Darren and really, really putting the pressure on. Watching again from Heathy. Just a few laps to go now then. And the fight for this lead is potentially going to continue right in the way down to the wire. And both Darren and Mike are doing very well in the championship itself. And Mike has got ahead. Mike has got ahead of Darren. Darren's run wide slightly there, so Mike takes the lead. So Darren now in second position as Mike gets him onto lap 14. So two laps to go. Can Mike stay ahead now? Or will Darren put the pressure on? And Mike goes wide, taking his slightly more driftier line, as he's seen before. And Darren's putting the pressure on Mike here. So now Stephen Heath over those curves aggressively but he is looking to really take advantage of these two so a great three-way battle for the the lead here and Darren's got the inside of Mike and I think Darren's got the lead back ahead then and Stephen could take second not quite Mike just about keeps it so Mike oh there's a bit of contact and Darren's gone wide. Mike's got hit by Stephen, but Stephen has taken the lead. And Darren and Mike now are much further down. And the lead of the race has changed. So Stephen leads the race here on his second debut race. as his first event. Can you believe it? Let's have a little look at the replay and see what happened really there to see if... There was much contact between Mike and Darren. Let's have a little look now. Let's have a little look on board with Mike here. Yeah, there is contact between him and Darren. Darren's gone way wide into the gravel and Mike slowed down, which has given Darren the position back, but that's allowed Heafy to get into the lead of the race. Yeah, so it looks like there was contact between Mike and he pushes Darren wide and I think Mike then goes to slow down to let him pass um, which allows Heafy to go into the lead of the race. Can he hold the lead and take his first win on his first ever event? So Tom trying to catch up with Craig now on the final lap and Kieran and Josh this battle still continuing. Kieran has struggled to get past Josh here. Uh, but Josh takes a bad exit from the corner and that's allowed Kieran to get ahead. So Kieran goes up to sixth, pushes Josh down to seventh. But Josh is still on the inside and I don't think he's going to let him take it. So Kieran has to go behind Josh. And Josh goes wide, so Kieran takes it, the lead back again, so Josh really put the pressure on Kieran. This battle is fantastic between the two. The boys are giving each other racing room. But 
at the lead of the race. Stephen takes the win ahead of Darren, ahead of Mike. So a fantastic win for Heafy on his debut event at Laguna Seca after retiring from the first race. Fourth is Craig. Tom doesn't quite catch up and takes fifth after going off and his accident with Josh. So Kieran is now leading ahead of Josh. Can Josh get it? He goes on the inside. There's a slight cut of the corner there. And the two race down to the line. And the, it's going to be taken by Josh. Josh just about gets it ahead of Kieran. So Kieran takes seventh behind Josh in sixth. And further down, Mark Nicol will take eighth at the back of the grid. And Gary gets a DNF. A fantastic debut win there for Stephen Heath ahead of Darren in second. Mike takes the last podium position ahead of Craig in fourth. Tom takes fifth. Josh is sixth just ahead of Kieran. Mark gets eighth. And unfortunately, Gary retires from the race. What this means for the championship positions then in the driver standings, Craig goes even further into the lead with 131, but Darren crawls back a little bit with 113. Mike is still third at 106. Mark is still fourth with 91. Tom is fifth with 89. Sixth is Josh with 76, just a point ahead of Kieran with 75. Sam goes down to eighth now with 71. And Harry down into ninth with 61. Tenth is Rob with 46 still. 11th is Gary with 36 now and James is 12th with 27. Stephen gets off the mark with 21 with the fastest lap there as well in 13th position. In the teams, Parker take the lead back by just one point. 213, Elliot on 212 and Ktech catching up still with 201 but the gap is getting smaller. In the independents, Mike is in the lead in 139, with Mark just not too far behind with 128. Josh is now third with 100. Fourth is Harry with 95. Fifth is Gary with 57. Sixth is James with 34. And Stephen is in seventh with 21 points.